What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Welcome to another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where I'm all about showing the world that crochet is killer. Today I have a box right here that I'm so excited to like dive into because it's something that I've wanted for a very, very, very long time. And for whatever reason, it's just been chilling in my virtual cart, just sitting there. Honestly, I know that I'm gonna go ahead and use this every single day. So I'm just really, really excited that it's actually here. We have a jumbo yarn winder. So it is claiming that it can hold up to 10 10 ounces of yarn. That is freaking huge compared to what I have normally been using. Let me show you this thing. This is my yarn winder here and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's from Knit Picks. It works really, really well. I just have it chilling back there along with my Swift. So when I cake up yarn or go from a skein, make it into a cake, it's all in one place. It does not come in this color though because I am super extra and I want everything to match in the yarn dungeon. It actually is like a lavender color. I just went ahead and painted it. But this holds 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. This is 100 grams. It'll cake it up beautifully, but that's it. So anything bigger than 100 grams, it just doesn't work and you have to make a bunch of cuts in it. And I do have a lot of yarn that is big, giant balls of yarn that I would like to cake up without putting a bunch of cuts, a bunch of ties together. So insert giant jumbo yarn winder here and hopefully 10 ounces, it'll make my life a little bit easier here. Found it off of Amazon. So currently this one is on sale actually. It normally retails for $69.99 and right now I paid $42.99 for it, which that is a steal for a jumbo yarn winder. Like that is crazy. Like $69 is still actually really, really good for a yarn winder. And obviously I thought so because I threw it in my cart. Assuming everything works the way that it's supposed to, this could potentially be an amazing deal if you're in the market for a jumbo yarn winder like I was. All right. Here we go. Right on the top, we have the part that actually collects all the yarn. So just gonna do a little comparison here. Yeah, significantly bigger. Oh my gosh, yes, this is amazing. I'm so excited now. What do we have? We have the instructions. This just says, we love your feedback. Okay, here is everything all about it. Okay, so that, this part, which this is heavy. Okay, the other one, this one right here is plastic, but this is like metal. This whole portion right here. Okay, so like the gears, I'm pretty sure are plastic, but everything else, like this whole base is metal and it is very, very heavy. Something that is kind of concerning to me is this part right here. I feel like it might scratch your table. So something to be aware of. Compared to this one, this part goes onto your table and it has like a nice little rubber cushion on it. I don't know if I'm like super sold on that. Okay, so there are little cushiony parts here on this metal part, which is good. So that's the part that's gonna like rest on your table, but this is gonna come up and clamp onto the bottom of the table. So, and there's nothing on this, but at least there's little cushion parts right there to go on the top anyways. Oh, and then the other piece. Okay, so this part is gonna attach onto it. Just do another comparison here. Significant difference, oh my gosh. Nothing really too difficult, pretty self-explanatory. Right here, the little washer, I'm gonna put this on top and I'm assuming it's gonna, yeah, it like stops, it like clicks and to place. It's not like a permanent thing, you can still pull it off so if you need to clean it and like repair and stuff like that. It is a little bit dusty though um, and I'm assuming because this is the package that came in, there was like no tape or anything on the top of it. So there is quite a bit of dust on it. I'm actually gonna go wipe this down real quick before I get any further. Next, we need to attach this part onto this part. So there is a little washer once again that is right in the bottom here. This little metal part is gonna go underneath that washer. There's this little butterfly thing and then there is a washer and the washer goes on top. So it goes right on top of that and then it just sits like that. So I need to attach this part onto the bottom here. I don't think I can do that while I'm holding it up. Like I said, it is rather heavy. So this area is where you're gonna feed the yarn into and then you're gonna feed the next portion onto this and then right on the top here. So make sure that it is like actually 
facing out the right way otherwise it's just gonna tangle up the yarn and everything let's try this out I have a bunch of different yarn here just to kind of see how well it works these ones right here are five ounces each I weighed them and everything it says it on the back but I really wanted to make sure so I did weigh them so if it works how it's supposed to two of these should comfortably fit on here and I'm just gonna have a giant cake of yarn afterwards Here's my first attempt. A couple of things that I did learn from using this jumbo yarn winder for the very first time ever. Tension, you really do have to control that. On my other one, my Knit Pick one, I hardly ever hold it with my hand and control the tension because of the fact that I wasn't actually like pulling and applying pressure for the tension right in the beginning. As you can see, it ends up being a little bit messy there and I was not able to get all of it on there. And you can see it in the video as it starts to get closer and closer to 10 ounces, that wire that goes around that holds the yarn, it was getting closer and closer to it until eventually it hits the edge of this cake and it stops. You can't go any further. Like obviously you can't move it anymore because it's stuck on this yarn. And that was the other thing that I was noticing since the gauge is so large, and this is a worsted weight that the yarn was kind of just like going crazy like that so it makes sense that you need to actually hold and control this portion as you're actually winding it. Now I have some different types of yarn that I want to go ahead and try on this and see how it acts with it, if it actually works and everything. First off, I have this yarn, which is just a jumbo set type of yarn and it's really fluffy, really fuzzy. The fibers come off really, really easily. So let's see how this works out. This one definitely caked up better with me controlling the tension there. You can see it's a lot more even. And the only thing is when you pull this off, all of that kind of pulled out. So I don't know, maybe it's just a user error type of thing. I need to like play around with it for a little bit. But yeah, when I pulled that out, all of this came off already. So I'm not really sure about that. Weight wise, and you know, if it was fighting all this fuzzies, not at all. The gauge is like so big that this was not even anything thing that it worried about. Next, we're gonna move on to bigger. This is the Bernate Blanket yarn. We're gonna see if this can actually work on the Jumbo Yarn Winder, because that would be fantastic, honestly. That was a breeze. Honestly, it did not even fight it in any way, shape or form. Also, this time I held onto the cake from the bottom and the top when I pulled it off of the bobbin and it seemed to work so much better. Like no yarn came out from the bottom, also with the top. So it's just like a perfect little cake of yarn now compared to this one where there was like a little bit of carnage that came off of the bottom. So I think that's the key. Hold the bottom and the top of the cake and like pull off the bottom. I have one more thing of yarn that I actually wanna try in it. And this is Premier's XL yarn, which is this giant jumbo, chunky, fluffy type of yarn. I love using this. It is a jumbo number seven. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it works really well on this because as you can see, it is just carnage right now. And I would love to be able to cake this up and set it nicely when I have just like half a stain like this. That would be so nice. So fingers crossed. That was so nice. Like honestly, that was even better than I thought it was gonna work with it. It's just caked up perfectly now and it did not fight it in the gauge in any way, shape or form. But now I can go ahead and cake all of them up, stack them every time I have like a little bit of something left, they'll all be stacked, ready to use and like not getting tangled. Ugh, this is the greatest. That is pretty much all I wanted to cover to see what this giant jumbo yarn winder could do here. Would I suggest you ghouls to go ahead and purchase one of these if you're in the market for a giant jumbo yarn winder. Honestly, I feel like it's
it's a really good deal, especially right now. It's on sale for $42.99. That's like a killer deal at the moment. But even at its original price for $69.99, if you're someone that constantly buys those big like one pound things of yarn and you don't want to do that on a tiny thing that only holds 100 grams, I feel like it's 100% going to be worth it for you. But like I said, that is just my opinion. For me, this is going to be a permanent addition to the yarn dungeon. It is definitely going to stay out and I will use it pretty much on the daily. So let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you feel like you would also want in your yarn dungeon to use very frequently. The link for this is down below. You can go ahead and find the website and check it out on your own as well. That is all I have for you goals today. Thank you so much for hanging out, testing out this giant jumbo yarn winder with me. Have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.